Welcome to Let's Play Heretic Co-op with Viking Boy Billy and Paramoltar. We're at, we're on E1M3, the gatehouse. And we've already cleared a bunch of these gargoyles out of here. Oh, there are still a couple. I got him. Hey, okay, while we're on the subject of the gargoyle, let me turn on the paramol tart cam and all. Just look up what the instruction manual has to say about gargoyles. Hmm. Gargoyle. Half demon and half bat. These wicked red beasts are the order's guard dogs of the sky. Oh, there's another type called the fire gargoyle. As if flying demons weren't enough. Fire gargoyles toss balls of fire down upon their unsuspecting enemy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember them uh, shooting fire in the first level. So these must be the, the fire gargoyles. Yeah, they have a, a, a bit more health, too. What did I tell you about crouching? You're taking shortcuts that we shouldn't be able to take. Don't do that. And I just picked up something called the Fire Mace. That's weapon number seven and it's junk. Don't use it. Like seriously. I'll just show what the unpowered form of it does. It shoots these little useless mace balls that like... It does a good job of killing them, but like... They're not that strong and they're kind of hard to aim and they like... Bounce around and... When you use the Tome of Power, it makes this giant mace ball that... Like, crushes an enemy in one hit, but it's so slow and it could just run into a wall and be useless. And I don't know what they were thinking with that weapon and why they thought it was, was like the ultimate final weapon. So, where did you go, Paramoltar? Caramel tart, hello? Yes. I'm uh I'm in the water over here. Okay, I found you. There's some undead warriors behind you. And they're taking a lot to take down for some reason. I think we got them all. And speaking of the undead warrior, let's see here. Ah, undead warriors. As part of the Order's insidious plot to control your world, they've recruited the dead gave them armor and armed them with deadly magic axes. Now they guard the evil cities and toss their infinite supply of axes at any elf who passes by. Oh, there's a star at the end. Reference down there in the footnote. And that footnote says, also come at you in the form of ghosts. Monsters in a ghost form appear transparent and are impervious to normal man-made weapons. So any enemy with that star at the end is one that could also be a ghost. I pooped a little. Just 
gave me no quarter. So, bringing the subject back to the gargoyles, in that part of the intro story where it talks about monsters diving their heads into intestines like pigs into slop, I always imagine it to be the gar to be a gargoyle doing that. And like, I think like, I think of the scene where Corvus is, might be watching his own mother being eaten by gargoyles. And he has an outburst of, they're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Oh my god! And so that's when he decided to go on his mission for revenge against Despairal and his minions. And if there's anybody watching that hasn't seen the Troll 2 trailer, go look that up right now. It's almost as fun as Hotel Mario. You know what they say! All posters post! I'm starting to get disoriented. So is me. Going off on tangents and forgetting what we're supposed to do. I think I found where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, up here. And. Yeah, that opened that thing, but there's another way to go in the tower, I think. Oh, yeah, I found it. Where'd you go, Paramoltart? Uh, do you see where I am on the map? I'm like orange. Well, I'll just go up there and. I'm way on the other side of the level as you. Every time I hear tome of power, I think of a toe of power. And if you think about it, tome is kind of like a combination of toe and thumb. So I would imagine a tome would be like your toe thumb, your thumb toe. I got a. I got the green key. And a pair of wings. Yeah, so... Also, speaking of the Tome of Power, there's also little descriptions of the items, apparently. And there's something interesting about the Tome of Power. In the manual, it's called Taiketo's Tome of Power. Like, it belongs to this guy named Taiketo. And the description is, temporarily increases the power of your weapons, or, quote, power up. The tome will appear in the top right corner of the screen while it is active. It's pretty basic. Ooh, I got two morph ovums. You know what that means? It's time for a demonstration. I'll turn... Well, one of them into a chicken. Did you blink, viewers? If so, you might have missed that chicken I just killed. This one time I farted and poo came out. So, if I remember correctly, the green door is down here somewhere. 
And there it is. I think it's the exit room, actually. And it's full of golems. Paramaltar, come to where I am. I don't know where you are, man. Look at the map. I I don't see you. I'm really close. Let's see. I don't Can see I... you. Where are you? Where are you? Quit that. Hey, this guy's a ghost or something. Yeah, just like I said in the instruction. That's just like the instruction said. And the thing about them is, we notice like two of the normal arrow shots go right through him, but the magical one still hits him. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't hit ghosts. And we got all the secrets, and here's the exit. And Where is it? Right. Can you back up a little bit so your head doesn't hit the ceiling? And well, I got it. Gatehouse. Well, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Right now we're entering the guard tower, and oh, I hate the music in this map. All right, let me save. And um, stay tuned for the next part when we tackle this map. Say goodbye, Paramaltart. Goodbye.